starters, you'd have to start arguing with Nora Volko. They've been forced to fight a rear guard action now, along with Charles O'Brien, the head of the Addiction Committee for the D Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, and now recognizing, well, sex, gambling, shopping, eating, love relationships actually do impact the same, they'll say, brain reward systems. That'll be their phraseology. So they would sit here and argue with you before I, although, of course, I did it 35 years ago, would say, well, there's really no fundamental difference between those activities. And in fact, there's no reason to say, we all know, as those recovering counselors know, that smoking uh, is the hardest substance addiction to quit. They know, because they've done it, that a large majority of them have done it without treatment. It's no less true, it's more true of heroin and alcohol. A larger percentage of heroin addicts and alcoholics recover than smokers. Only about 50% of addicted smokers successfully quit. It's a far higher percentage, about three quarters of alcoholics and heroin and crack addicts who quit. So. We're, the reality is that we've got our telescope turned totally backwards. The thing we're most familiar with, if you go to a dinner table and say, anybody here quit smoking, you're going to find people who've quit smoking. And then because it's in some other universe, you say, well, people do that same with heroin and alcohol. They say, no, that can't happen. I just know what happened in my life. I quit smoking because, you know, my daughter said, daddy, you're going to keep smoking. And I couldn't say yes.